Welcome to Midwest Sports Net. Today we're talking about coaching changes in Division II football for 2022. We'll be talking about coaches who are getting their first opportunity to be the lead man at a program and also head coaches who have been around for a while but will just be on a different sideline for this year. Now we're going to start in the middle of the country and work our way west. We know we won't be able to get in all of the coaches in this video, so there will be a second video on the way. We start in the great Midwest. Tyrone Young was recently officially named the seventh head coach in Kentucky Wesleyan program history after taking the title of acting head coach in February. Young spent two years as an assistant coach and was the associate head coach last season. The Panthers were 3-8 in 2021. They opened the 2022 season on the road at Northwood. D.J. Bolden was officially named the head coach at Lake Erie in January after taking over as an interim in November. He was with the Storm last season as the wide receivers coach and co-special teams coordinator. Lake Erie was 5-6 and six last year. In the Great Lakes Valley Conference, Coach Andy Ball at Missouri S&T is another first-year head coach who assumes the title after taking an interim tag first. Ball was at S&T from 2007 to 2010 and came back to Rolla in 2018. He takes the reins after serving as offensive coordinator and offensive line coach last year. The Miners were 6-5 and five in 21 and host South Dakota Mines to open the season. In the Great American Conference, Brad Smiley has been named just the sixth head coach in Southern Arkansas's 104-year program history. He was most recently at D1 Northwestern State as the offensive coordinator. The Mule Riders had a 4-7 and seven record in 2021, the first losing record since 2011. Smiley's first assignment is a Thursday night matchup hosting Northwestern Oklahoma. Coach Josh Kirkland is making a horizontal coaching move, heading to southwestern Oklahoma in Weatherford, having previously been the head coach in Division II New Mexico Highlands, which means we'll talk about them in a moment. Kirkland inherits a program that was winless in 2021 and opens its season on a Thursday night on the road at Henderson State. In the MIAA, Josh Lamberson spent some time working on the Central Missouri staff with longtime coach Jim Svoboda, but comes back to Warrensburg after being most recently the associate head coach and offensive coordinator at D1 Abilene Christian. The Mules were 4-7 and seven last year and get things going in 2022 on a Thursday night at Pittsburgh State. Lamberson served on the Abilene Christian staff with our next coach who is at a new location, Adam Dorrell. Doral is heading to Central Oklahoma and back to the MIAA with a fan base that's used to him being on the sidelines at Northwest Missouri State, where he was a three-time national champion and three-time national coach of the year. In 2021, the Broncos went 4-7. and seven. In 22, Doral starts his new campaign on a Thursday night at Missouri Western. Jermaine Gales takes over in Jefferson City with the Lincoln Blue Tigers. He was most recently at Bluefield State. He was the associate head coach, offensive coordinator, and quarterbacks coach in the revival of the Rams program. Lincoln has won one game since 2018. The Blue Tigers open the year at Washburn on a Thursday night. To the Northern Sun, where Scott Underwood is no stranger. He spent 19 seasons at St. Cloud State, the last 12 of them as the head coach. That football program was discontinued in 2019. The Southwest Minnesota Mustangs opened the season at Minnesota Duluth after a 2-9 campaign in 2021. Logan Masters has been elevated to the head coach position at his alma mater, Wayne State. Masters is in his second stint on the coaching staff at Wayne. The Wildcats went 7-4 last year, the most wins since 2011, and will try to continue the success opening the season at the University of Mary. Brian Bergstrom has taken the lead position at Winona State. Coach Bergstrom heads to Winona from Division I South Dakota State, where he was most recently the defensive coordinator. The Warriors are coming off a 7-4 and four year as well and open the 22 season at Minot State. No conference is going through a bigger overhaul than the RMAC. Since the great COVID shutdown in the spring of 2020, seven of the 10 football programs in the Rocky Mountain Athletic Conference have head coaches who have been in their position for less than 30 months. And of those seven, four of them are starting their first year in their position as head coach at that school. The new head coach at Colorado Mesa, Miles Kochevar, is familiar with the RMAC. He's had one coaching stint at Mesa already from 2007 to 2011. And he comes back to Mesa having spent last season at CSU Pueblo as the defensive coordinator. The Mavericks were 8-2 in 2021. 
Coach Navarro's first season as head coach begins in Liberty, Missouri at William Jewell. Brandon Moore has spent the last six years on the Colorado School of Mines coaching staff. In January, he was tabbed to be the head coach of the Ore Diggers. Mines went 12-2 in 2021 and made it to the national semifinals under coach Greg Brandon, and then he retired. So Moore takes over. Moore now leads the team whose first game in 2022 is at Grand Valley State. With the departure of Josh Kirkland to southwestern Oklahoma, Ron Hudson was elevated to the head coach position at New Mexico Highlands from his position as associate head coach. Hudson also directed special teams and tight ends. The Cowboys went 5-6 and six last season, the most wins for the program since 2012. Highlands will host eastern New Mexico on September 1st. Johnny Cox returns to Durango to take over as the head coach of the Skyhawks. Cox was a two-time All-American at Fort Lewis and former RMAC Player of the Year. Most recently, he was the offensive coordinator and associate head coach at UNC Pembroke, and he spent eight seasons with that program. The Skyhawks haven't won a game since 2019 and host Arizona Christian University to start the Cox era. Two other coaches are on the list today, coaches who will lead their respective teams but are currently doing so with an interim tag attached. Chris McCullough has stepped up with the departure of Coach Al Johnson at East Central. Johnson is joining the staff at Wisconsin. And Corey Allen is taking over the Findlay program following the recent resignation of Rob Keyes to head to Ohio State. Success to all these coaches as they begin the next chapters of their lives. And we'll bring you more Division II coaching changes in a subsequent video. In the meantime, please do consider liking this video and subscribing to the channel Midwest Sportsnet. God bless you. Thank you for watching.